Hello there from me and Mr. Whiskers as well. I hope you're ready because we're going to learn all about subtraction. Subtraction. That's kind of a big word, but don't worry. It's actually pretty easy, okay? We're going to take a fun look at how subtraction works. And soon you'll be subtracting like a pro. Kind of like this owl, all right? <laughs> Show us the ways of subtraction, owl. Just tell this owl knows a thing or two about subtraction. But you know what? It's time to jump right in. Now, subtracting is just taking numbers away. How many dogs do you see? Yeah, three. But one dog leaves. He has something else going on right now. How many are left? Yeah, two. There were three dogs and one left. Three minus one. This minus sign is what we use when we subtract. How many were left? Yeah, two dogs were left. Three minus one equals two. That's subtraction. Or let's say you have two carrots, which is great. Carrots are absolutely amazing. And you give one carrot to a bunny, you know, for her birthday. We'll need to subtract one carrot from the two. What is two minus one? Yeah, one. You would have one carrot left. Two minus one equals one. Oh, we're in a bakery. How cool is that? There are so many baked goodies here and plenty of customers are here to buy them. Let's say the bakery had five of these pies and they sold two of them. To find out how many are left, we have to figure out what is five minus two. What's five minus two? Yeah, three, great job. So there were five and then two of them were sold. After we subtract two, three are left. Five minus two equals three. Now, what if the bakery had eight plain bagels, okay? And they sold four of them. To find out how many plain bagels are left, we have to figure out what 8 minus 4 is. What is 8 minus 4? Uh-huh, 4. Great job. 8 minus 4 equals 4. There were 8 plain bagels, and then we subtracted 4. That left just 4 bagels. 8 minus 4 equals 4. Oh, it looks like some of the customers bought cupcakes! Let's say the bakery had nine cupcakes, and their cupcakes have been popular. They've sold seven of them. Nine minus seven will tell us how many cupcakes are left. What is nine minus seven? Yep, two. Nine minus seven equals two. Fantastic job. If there were nine and then seven were sold, that would leave only two more cupcakes. Nine minus seven equals two. You are doing a tremendous job. You know what? I think it's time to test your skills with a fun subtraction game. Let's see how many of these subtraction problems you can figure out. Let's start out with this one. What is four minus two? What is four minus two? Uh-huh, two, yeah. If you have four and then you take two of them away, there are two left. Four minus two equals two. Awesome. How about this one? Eight minus one. Hmm, what is eight minus one? Yes, seven. If you have eight and you take away just one, you have seven left. Eight minus one equals seven. Very cool. Let's do this one next. What is six minus six? What is six minus six? Yeah, zero. If you have six and then take all six of them away, there are none left. Six minus six equals zero. Great job. How about four minus zero? What is four minus zero? Uh-huh, four. Why is that? 
Yeah, because you are taking nothing away. You're subtracting zero. You started with four and took zero away. So you still have four. Four minus zero equals four. Fantastic. Okay, what's seven minus six? I don't know if this owl knows, but maybe you do. What's seven minus six? Yeah, one. Great. If you have seven, and you take six away, only one remains. Seven minus six equals one. You are doing an amazing job. Wait, <laughs> we've got penguins here. Finally, this video needed penguins. You know, the subtraction question is, what is 10 minus three? What's 10 minus three? Let's tell the penguins the answer. What is it? Yes, seven. 10 minus three equals seven. Nice one. And hey, thanks for being in this video, penguins. Have fun wherever you all are going. Maybe they're going to the bakery, the one we were just looking at. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool, but come on. Penguins don't go to bakeries. Except maybe this penguin. All right, I've got a good one here. Let's try nine minus five. What is nine minus five? Hmm. Good one, four. Nine minus five equals four. Wow, you are doing great. Wait, I never caught the camel's name. Billy? Charlie? Bob? Is, is your name Bob? Okay, <laughs> let's try some more. This is fun. Do you know what six minus three is? What is six minus three? Yes, six minus three equals three. If you have six and take three away, you only have three left. Well done. Wait, there are only three cupcakes left? And now somebody else is taking one? Now there are only two left. This is subtraction in action. Hey, let's try another one. What is eight minus six? What is eight minus six? Uh-huh, two. Eight minus six equals two. If you have eight and subtract six, just two are left. Great job. How about seven minus two? What do you think seven minus two is? Yeah, five. Seven minus two equals five. Awesome. If you have seven and take two away, there would be five left. Sweet. All right, here's the last one I'm going to ask you. What is 10 minus four? What is 10 minus four? Yes, six. 10 minus four equals six. If you have 10 and then subtract four, there are six left. Way to go. Congratulations, you did great. Subtraction is really cool and it's pretty easy, isn't it? Subtraction is just taking numbers away. How did we do, Owl? I just realized you don't talk or move, but you're good at subtraction. I bet that's your superpower. I bet it's your superpower. Thanks for learning about subtraction with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this and haven't yet, be sure to subscribe for more exciting learning videos. I want to give a special thank you to my patrons. Your support means so much to me. And thank you for watching this video to the end. You are so awesome. And as always, I'll see you next video.